Today, I'm going to be showing you how to use slash execute if score to run a command when someone has a certain score. If you're coming from my slash execute tutorial or slash scoreboard tutorial, then welcome! This command isn't hard, but it does require knowledge of both scoreboards and the basics of slash execute. Links to my tutorials will be cards in the top right and available at the end of the video. I know you're a busy bee, so let's make this quick. Slash execute if tests the scores of two players. If certain conditions are met, such as one player having a higher score than another, the test will succeed. If these conditions are not met, the test will fail. Take a look at this example I've set up. It's a very fun game I like to call Fall in a Hole. You run along the speed boost ground, and when you fall in this hole and land on the pressure plate, it increases your fall in score by one. It also teleports you back, shows a title, and plays a nice little note block sound. Over here, I've got a repeating command block that activates every tick. It's always checking to see if my fall-in score has reached five. Once it has, the following chain command blocks, which I've set to always active and importantly, conditional, will activate. They just announce that I've won, show a subtitle, and reset my score so I can play again. Make sure to subscribe for more Fall in a Hole Let's Plays and Strategy Guides. To do all this, I've chosen to use slash execute if score. Let's break this command down. First, execute the following command if somebody's score matches what I'm about to say. If the score of me, Legitimus, in the objective fall in is greater than or equal to hashtag winrex fall in score, then the test will succeed and all of these will activate because this first chain command block is marked as conditional. Now. You might be thinking, what? Who's hashtag winwreck? And how would I get this to use at A instead of your name? Why is there a greater than or equal to sign? Are we doing algebra, you nerd? Okay, okay, maybe I need to explain more. When we start typing this command, slash execute if score legitimus fall in, we get some choices. We can pick less than, less than or equal to, equal to, greater than, greater than or equal to, or matches. Wait, matches? How is that different from equals? Let me, let me look this up, hold on. Oh my god, this is incredible. Apparently, I don't know commands as well as I thought I did because matches has just made this a thousand times easier. First, I'll show you how I did this. So this command here is constantly checking whether my score is greater than or equal to an invisible player named hashtag winwreck. The hashtag at the start of the name will hide them from the sidebar so that they don't take up valuable space. I manually set their score to five. So when I get to five, this execute command will succeed and activate this whole command chain. This technique has the advantage of being easily changed. If I wanted to increase or decrease the score I need to reach, I can just change hashtag winrec score. So for example, scoreboard players set hashtag winrec fall in, we'll change it to three. Now I'll only need three for this thing to succeed. Amazing. This is really only useful if I wanted to automate the process, because if I don't, then I could use... Matches! If we use matches, we're no longer comparing to another player. Instead, we're comparing to an actual number. Incredible. If we want to see if our score is higher than 5, we can start with the same command, but then say matches 5 dot dot. The dot dot at the end signifies 5 or higher. If we wanted to check for less than 5, we could put the dots at the start, and if we wanted to check specifically for just five, we could just have a five. This is called a range because it represents a range of numbers. We can have something in between two numbers as well, such as testing for numbers between two and five. So two dot dot five. Note that this is always inclusive, meaning including two and five in this case. To address the quote-unquote viewer question from earlier, the way you would do this if you wanted it to work for all players is just to add execute as at A at the start, and then do if score at S fall in matches five dot dot. You just gotta start it off with that execute as at A. This is covered in my execute tutorial. And of course, if you're making a big project, I will always recommend using these kinds of commands in a data pack because quote unquote physical command blocks can really start to hinder you if you're getting into advanced commands. If you're not familiar with data packs already, my data pack tutorial is a great place to start, wink. And as I said before, here's the links 
to my basics of slash execute and slash scoreboard tutorials. And to answer your question from before, yes, this is technically algebra. Subscribe, nerds!